Colorado is blessed with 300 days of sunshine a year, and one reason solar power is so popular here. But could all these sunny days help power our cars someday? Yeah, Jason is here with us right now. And Jason, you had a chance to talk with someone who created a solar-powered car. Yes, I did. It's uh, And the creator told me that Colorado in particular is actually, it, the car would do well here because of our high sun intensity and okay. thin air that has less drag. So let me show you what it looks like. This is the Aptera oh. Motors one-of-a-kind oh. solar hybrid vehicle that to me looks like something you would see in Star Wars. <laughs> it, it's the only one in existence in North America. As you can see, it's a three-wheeled vehicle. It holds two people, does have some cargo space, and generates enough electricity through the solar panels that are built into the entire body of the vehicle to go 40 miles per day. I asked the co-founder of Aptera, Steve Fambro, on my Driving You Crazy podcast, why hasn't any other car maker until now tried to use solar energy. There's always a talk and has been for a long time about putting solar panels on a vehicle. So what made it feasible right now that to try the solar again when maybe it wasn't 10 years ago? Well, when uh, when Chris and I restarted the company, we were doing the calculations. I think we said something like, well, if we just cover the roof, we would get, you know, 10 to 12 miles a day. And then sort of both of us simultaneously said out loud, well, why wouldn't we just cover the whole damn thing with solar? What would we get then? And then that, that answer was up to 40 miles a day in some locations. So we, we have a shape that really lends itself uh, to being able to do that, maybe more than other cars, but we didn't have the technology to do it. Uh, and so we, we hired a team being able to make 3D curved solar panels that are also very rugged and lightweight. Uh, we had to develop that technology from scratch. Now, Steve tells wow. me the car has chargeable batteries that extends its range to 400 miles. You can hear my entire wow. interview with Steve on my Driving You Crazy podcast. It's available on any podcast app online or on YouTube. Steve says they're taking pre-orders right now. Their target sale price is $40,000, which seems wow. pretty reasonable. What right. Do you, what, yeah. 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 What do you think? Like, yeah. you think with a new car like that, it comes out at like 80, 90, right. yeah. new technology. You have to yeah. pay all this stuff for like, you know, to yeah. have it like taken care of. But... That seems How more many reasonable. People can fit in it. Two. Just the two. Well, unless okay. you cram somebody in that cargo area yeah, that okay. you know. Lisa would fit. Lisa would fit. We could yeah. probably put I her was back like, there. Is there a seatbelt yeah. back there yeah. or no? Oh, wow, well, that's a fascinating. It, and it's yeah. so cool looking it too. Is. Yeah. And in Colorado, I mean, yeah. all this sunshine, why Ooh, not? Oh, yeah. Right? Take yeah. advantage Yesterday of it. Yesterday was beautiful. Even it though was. it was freezing cold, it was gorgeous. <laughs>